Tommy, massive congratulations. You've got that belt on your shoulder. Just try and sum up how you're feeling now, the new European champion. You know, first thing I want to say is I want to share it with my wife, Amy. I love you. I want to share it with my four daughters, Cara, Brana, and Nan and Kyle. Daddy's bringing the belt home. I love all you. I want to share it with my team as well. My manager, Mark Dunlap, for making this possible. He's a, he's a legend. Pete Taylor, the best coach in the world. He's transformed my career as well. My cousin, Lloyd Edwards, doing the strength and conditioning. I want to share it with Big Kareem, all my sponsors. And, um, yeah, Stephen Floyd for giving me a six pack first time in my life. So yeah, this means this means the world to me. And you know what? I thought it was gonna be I knew it was gonna be tough before and then at the way ins when Balao took his top off, it's me, this guy hasn't trained. So I thought it was gonna be easy, so he surprised me. Sure that Balao, he's a, a true great, but now I trust, uh, I'm the European champ. I'm the roughest, toughest. Bad boy, out to Belfast, and I'm the first Irish black European champion of Black History Month as well. So next, I don't want to stick around Europe, I want Maris Breedis next. Let's do it. Maris Breedis, the IBF champion. Yeah. Is that 2021, this is the platform that you needed now to go on and win world titles? Exactly, you know, I'm, I've, I've, I'm the king, I'm the toughest man in Europe now. So I want Maris Breedis, the best cruiserweight in the world at the minute. That's who I want next. Um, yeah, I'm just loving it. I'm delighted. If you just give us a quick e insight into what Eddie Hearn and you discussed there, he said, I'm not letting you box before Christmas. <laughs> now, I just said, Eddie, you know what? Well, thank you so much. And he, Eddie's just a, he's an absolute legend. He's the biggest gentleman I've ever met in boxing. Him and Tony Bailey, two of the best people I've met in boxing. And um, we, didn't, we didn't say too much. I don't really, see, do you know what? I, I know I'm calm now, but it's just because I'm easy going. I'm buzzing inside, so uh, my thoughts are all over the place. But yeah, I'm delighted with myself. Yeah. Listen, you saw West up. Belfast behind me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, see you had there. That was hectic because he made it tough, but I'm coming back to Belfast. All the bars are locked down. But listen, I won't be when open up again. Don't forget about me. I want everybody buy me a paint and not bring out my wallet. I never bring my wallet anyway, but I'm definitely not bringing it. <laughs> <laughs> Massive congratulations. Enjoy it. Well yes, done. Yes, thanks. Absolutely brilliant. You can see just how much it means, can't you, to Tommy McCarthy. Uh, Johnny, he becomes the first black Irish European champion. Quite an achievement there. A, a bit of a slow start from him, but he seemed to warm into it. Matt was saying uh, in commentary, he said he seems to be a bit too laid back. I actually thought he was being lazy when we started. Uh, then as a the fight kicked in, I thought, ah, now I see it. So I, I need to understand what all the hullabaloo was about uh, when, he, when he turned pro, all the big expectations were. So, so when he started, I thought, this kid, you know, he's got the talent, but he's just doing nothing about it. He's a slow starter. He's a slow burner. So, so then when I, I thought he lost the first probably four four rounds, or it was just it was just he was just waiting to react instead of reacting or, or, or initiating. Picked it up midway through, and then and then it got scrappy towards the end. It was sharing. So it's it's all debatable going through. I think potentially he can he he, he he's he's better than what we've seen there. But I also think that's his ceiling. Because you feel like he's reached his level. I think that's his ceiling. Please prove me wrong. And if you, your, his fans that are there that are, that are saying, no, you're crazy, please prove me wrong. I think that's his ceiling because, because he cannot start so slow. When he comes across some of those world-class fighters, they'll jump on him and break his heart. Carl, do you agree with Johnny? Do you feel like he's reached his level? And also the slow starts, could could that be problematic down the line as he moves up the levels? Well, it's not a bad level, is it, European? Let's, let's be honest. I mean, he's, he's, achieved, he's achieved the European Championship title status there. And, you know, when me and Johnny was coming through the rankings, the European title was like the big one before you move on to world level. So you can see how happy he is there with that title. And um, Lagoon played his part in that fight. He really, he made him work. You know, we thought he was looking for a way out at midway point. He, he had his eye checked by the doctor, but actually he, he stuck with it, got a second wind and really tried to, to finish strong, uh, and Lagoon. I was impressed. If he kept the pressure on him midway, midway through, he could have probably broke his heart, mm. but because of that laid-back attitude, he, he, he let the man stay in the fight and made the fight probably harder than what it should have been yeah, for potentially, him. Yeah, potentially. But McCarthy did well there. Thought, I thought he fought well. He may have found his level of European level, but like I said, that's not too bad, and he's, that's going to give him a world title shot at some point.